it's a brand new season, but for this River Hawk team, it looks a lot like uh, the way this team finished up winning uh, 12 in a row. Anyway, 3-1 win. Your impressions of this ball game? Hey, postseason softball. You know, all of a sudden, you know, two pretty good offensive teams, and uh, it, it comes down to pitching and defense. And um, you know, Rachel Schaffler, senior. I, I gave the senior the ball. Um, you know, she's bailed us out all year long um, when we when we weren't playing our best. And uh, you know, she talked uh, passionately a couple times in between games about how her dream was to get to the uh, the 16 portion of this tournament. So I, I had no hesitation to give her the ball. And uh, she was just magnificent, uh, best pitching performance of her career, and, and we just played great D behind her. And uh, you know that's that's what postseason softball is all about. I'm not sure if seen in, in softball postseason or regular season a pitcher keep a team so off balance, changing speed and location. Yeah, you know um, she's. The baseball version of Tim Wakefield, you know, when, when she's right, um, she, she befuddles people, and, um, you know, uh, she was definitely really right today. I guess simply to start with, I know during the week to your teammates you'd made some passionate speeches about how important this game was and getting to the, uh, to the group of six, uh, and then you went out and turned in a terrific performance. How important was this for you? Well, it could have been the last game of my career, so it was very important to me. And I just, you got to look at it like every other game because if you think of it more than it is, you're going to lose it. So we just thought of every other game. I watched you today. I mentioned this to your coach. I don't think in softball at this level I've ever seen a pitcher so keep an opposing team off balance by changing speeds and location as you did today. Did you it, rate for me your impression of this pitching performance? I don't know, 10, how about that? Came down early, one nothing. I guess that was second inning. I guess but in, in your mind as a, as a ball club, you didn't mind trailing, you felt, hey, we're a good team, they're not um, going to be a problem. I mean, we're the type of team that like strives off of that. Um, when they hit the home run, I knew we were going to come out firing after that. <clears throat> um, they hit the home run, personally I got excited, and we came in the huddle, we brought it up, and everyone was so excited after she hit the home run. We just wanted to get in there and take hacks at the ball. Seventh inning. It's uh, that point three-one lead. They get a man on with one out or a person on with one out. Um, now, in, in this case, it wasn't a ball hit to you, but I was going to say one of the things that strikes me is how solid this team has been defensively. And I say a person on first had been ball hit over Ashley's head and, and to the wall in center, but yet she holds the hitter to a, a single. Then this team turns a double play defensively. I've got to guess that this team absolutely believes in itself. Oh yeah. Um, I mean. From Florida, the beginning of the season, we didn't have a like a definite lineup, so um, things were just we were feeling everything out. Like you said, the ball hits to the wall. Um, Ashley has been doing a great job out there and held the girl at first, which was um, like definitely a key component to the game. And then I knew there was one out. I was like, we're turning this, we're turning double play. And field's getting dirty. Meg, Guy, Krista, turning double play. I mean, it's definite. You know it. You trust in them, and they did it. They got the job done.